I really like uh, mathematics, not only because of the beauty of um, mathematics, um, but also uh, because you can really do a lot in, in, in practice. After applying it um, for companies, I read this uh, book in 2010, and this book really had a big uh, influence uh, on me. Um, the title is Excellence Without a Soul, written by uh, Lewis, a former dean of Harvard University. And in fact, in this book he's saying we should add more societal relevant aspects in our educational programs. From that time on, I decided to also work on more societal applications. I met Dick in a project that was about the flood protection of the Netherlands. And there was a question, how good should that be? Uh, and Veerman, a Veerman Commission a few years ago had said it should be 10 times as safe as it is now. And that would cost a lot of money. One part of that project was a huge uh, mathematical optimization. And the only one who could do that was Dick. Uh, and well, after we did this, this, this uh, optimization and we put everything together, the original plan would cost about 11 to, to 12 billion euros uh, and what we proposed that was something between 7 and 8 and, and we saved, uh, let's say the Netherlands, between 4 and 5 billion euros. Now that's a lot of money, that's impact of course, but what more to me, what more impact is it? This, this really forms the basis of the fog protection in the Netherlands uh, until 2050. Another big project was for the World Food Programme. We built a model to optimize the supply chain for the World Food Programme. What should be in the daily meal for those people that are in hunger? What should be the ingredients? Should it be beans, oil or something else? Such that all kinds of nutritional requirements with respect to uh, vitamin uh, and so on are satisfied. And also the total cost of purchasing cost and transportation cost is minimized. So we started uh, with uh, two countries, Syria and Iraq. And uh, in fact, now the World Food Programme is using that in every new country, in every new operation. And uh, because of that model, they can feed millions more people now. He has an intrinsic drive to make the world better. And uh, for that reason, he's always looking for opportunities to work with organizations or individuals and uh, yeah, that is the reason, one of the reasons, in my view, that he's so successful. You might think all those topics are totally different. Huh? Talking about dike heights, talking about food, talking about hospital locations, talking about plastic in oceans. But the mathematics behind it is almost the same. So that's, I think, the beauty of mathematics. It's very generic. So with the same type of optimization models, you can in fact solve many different societal problems. For this project, we were nominated for a prize, the Edelman Award, and it, it, you should see that as a kind of Nobel Prize for operations research. He's one of the two people in the world that has won it twice, and uh, that's really remarkable. Several years ago, uh, Mark Salomon invited me to um, come to Amsterdam, and he also arranged a new institute um, for me. Analytics for the Better World, where we develop new analytics methods and tools to contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals. If you want to have impact, in the end you must really be interested in the topic that you are, for what you are applying your research. And you, should all, you, you also need to be really, really interested in the people who are doing this together with you. Uh, otherwise it will not work. Uh, and that is something that, that Dick is incredibly good at. I think all people like Dick, not only his personality, but also his work. Uh, and that is also because he publishes in top academic journals and he combines that also with these applications. Personally for me, it feels like a dream uh, came uh, true um, because this is really um, yeah, what, what I really like. In all those projects, I did it together with uh, colleagues, of course, and with uh, young uh, students, PhD students. So I would like to thank them. Uh, especially, I would like to thank two people from uh, who I learned a lot. Uh, the first one is uh, Professor Hein Fleure from Tilburg University, and the second one is uh, Professor Dimitri Betsimas from uh, MIT. Dick deserves this prize, really, uh, and in my view, because he he uh, he, he uses his brightness. Uh, not for uh, shareholders' value, but for uh, the good of society.